Hi there, Traveling Troy here. Welcome to build video number six, painting. In my first build of my Astro van, we didn't use a drop of paint in that build. It was kind of like a log cabin. Uh, it was just, it was a wood, it was all wood. It looked cool because it was all wood. And what's funny is we used a lot of that same wood in this build, this truck build, and that wood, most of it, held up really well, even though we didn't paint it or uh, anything. So uh, it's surprising that it held up so well, but it did. When I was initially thinking about this build, I was considering painting, but I just wasn't sure. I figured it was gonna be a lot of work. I'm definitely no pro painter. So my stepmom, Nancy, actually suggested that I paint and said it's gonna look a lot better if I paint. And she even offered to help me pick out the paint scheme. So, hey, uh, you know, I've got a little help. I might as well go for it this time around. Well, let's start off with showing you some of the supplies. This piece, this board here is going to be our little test board. Uh, like I said, I don't paint, so um, this is a test thing for me. This is the primer. We're going to use that to prime. And this is the main color. It's kind of a light gray. They call it Chance of Rain. All these paints were bought from Home Depot. So that is going to be the main color, the primary color. We'll be painting these boards, for instance, with that color. and all the main boards here except for the cabinet doors. Okay, on to our next color. This is going to be the secondary color. It is a kind of a dark blue. They call it Shipyard there at Home Depot. This color will be used to paint the cabinet doors as well as the front of the pots and pans drawer over there. The final color my stepmom Nancy chose is an orange. They call it Art Orange, also from Home Depot. Not sure on what I'm gonna paint with that yet. Something over here somewhere will be orange. This is a look at my paint board. Like I said, I'm no pro at painting. It's been a long, long, long time since I painted and I just wanted to kind of test it out and get the feel for it again. So being a rusty painter, maybe I should start with something small like this drawer here. That's the stand that the refrigerator sits on and the drawer slides in there. We're using the primer here, or I'm using the primer here. This is the first coat, my first attempt at the painting. It will definitely need another coat, or maybe not. It's just a, a place for the refrigerator to sit. All right, we got the drawer painted with the first coat of primer. And the stand for the refrigerator has now got its first coat of the gray color, the light gray or the chance of rain color. I think it's looking pretty slick. So far, so good. Looks like the colors are matching up. Sweet. Now I'm prepping this drawer here for the blue color to go along with the gray and I'm starting on the doors. I'm starting to put the primer on the doors for the cabinet doors. I'm taping everything up. I'm getting my brushes ready. I'm cleaning brushes. Lots going on. Okay, here's a look at my prep work. Getting ready to paint a few things. Some cabinet doors here on the tailgate. Uh-oh, there's my old van life stickers. I'm actually making some truck life stickers now. And here I've prepped the walkway so I don't spill any paint on the ground while painting these cabinets here. I eventually pulled these magnetic cabinet door catches off because it's just easier to paint without them on there. Well, there's the blue front cover to the drawer, and that's the stand that the refrigerator sits on, and we got some blue cabinet doors. Oh, look here, and we're painting as well. Painting some of the blue, shipyard blue, onto the primed cabinet door. I only put one coat of paint here on the stand, but I think it looks pretty good. Here's some of the blue cabinet doors, and hey look, I put orange inside the finger holes. Here's a quick look at how much of a mess it is to paint. I just want to put everything back together and go on a trip. Well, 
Well, I wish I had more knobs because I think this little knob here on this drawer with the blue and gray looks pretty sweet. And I flipped these doors over and painted the other side with the first coat. The second coat of paint on the cabinets is now on. I'm not painting the interior of the cabinets. I'm just painting the visible parts of these cabinets. Okay, here's a look with the cabinet doors back in place and also put the electrical back in place. Video upcoming for the electrical. Well, I think it looks pretty good, this blue and gray and orange combo. I think my stepmom did a fantastic job helping me pick out the colors. I did scuff up this door on the right, the smaller door, but came back and did some touch-ups and it uh, now looks just like the other doors. It looks perfect now. And when you open the smaller door, there's the foot pump and we got a propane tank there on the left. I still have some adjustments to do on the magnets and the striker bars, which is why this shelf is kind of pushed back here. Here's a look at the pots and pans drawer and silverware. Cool little orange knob. Looks pretty on the outside, but not so great on the inside. That's okay. Don't want to spend all my time painting the interiors of these things. Okay, on to the bed. Painting the bed. Now this was built about eight years ago. I just got started on doing some sanding. It took a little while. All I'm doing is this front bar and the legs. I did the initial sanding of the bed with 100 grade sandpaper and then I came back and kind of fine tuned it with the 220 grade sandpaper. It's looking pretty good now, nice and smooth, and it's ready for the primer. Well, 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 first coat of primer. Eight years and I finally decided to paint this thing. That is hilarious. I also sanded and primed the end piece of the bed here. The wood was in much better shape and it's gonna look nice. Oh, there we go. One coat down. Definitely needs a second one, but it's looking a whole lot better. And here is the bed with the first coat of Chance of Rain, my primary color. Looking pretty sharp. Ready to put a second coat on that bad boy. Well, at this point, I think everything is painted that I'm going to paint. I need to remove some tape there. Uh, I decided to go with a little more orange here on the bed. The bedside was a little bit plain, just the gray. So, kind of matching up these finger holes with orange, I decided to paint these little plates that support plates. I decided to paint them orange as well. Well, thanks for watching another Traveling Troy video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. The next video should be the electrical build. Thanks again, I really appreciate you watching. Tell your friends.